Texas abortion providers are considering their next steps this morning in fighting SB 8, a law the state tried to make impossible to challenge. The law bans most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy and allows anyone to sue abortion providers that violate it. State officials don't enforce it, so who can be sued? The Supreme Court ruled unanimously that challengers of the law cannot sue state court judges since they don't enforce anything. With Chief Justice Roberts and the court's three liberals dissenting, it ruled five to four that the challengers cannot sue state court clerks or the Texas Attorney General either. But it voted eight to one, with only Clarence Thomas dissenting, that the challengers can sue members of the state medical board just barely enough to let the lawsuits go ahead. Even so, the court said the state can continue enforcing the law while the legal challenges play out, a win for abortion rights opponents. But President Biden, in a statement, said he was, quote, very concerned the law can be enforced, adding, there is so much more work to be done to protect women's rights. I think this is going to go down as one of the most disgraceful decisions in Supreme Court history. It has allowed the state of Texas right now to nullify the Supreme Court's decisions that there's a constitutional right to abortion. So abortion providers can still challenge the Texas law in federal court, but from a much weaker position because they can't sue anyone who actually has the power to stop enforcing it. Friday's ruling was about the structure of the Texas law, not about abortion rights. A ruling on that in a separate case from Mississippi probably won't come for several more months. For today, Pete Williams, NBC News at the Supreme Court. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.